Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to discuss the error object and the error object that is spelled ERR allows us to know what error has been generated in our procedure. Okay, and it allows us to know information about that error. So what the error number is, what the description is, so that we can do different error handling based on the type of error that I have faced in my procedure. So let's have an example here. I've got this procedure here and I've got two statements that are going to generate errors because the first one here, worksheets, my worksheet dot select, it's going to select the worksheet that is called my worksheet, which is actually not available in my workbook at the moment. I've deleted it. So this one is going to generate an error. And also the second statement is a division by zero. So it's, it's going to generate an error as well. So let's run this procedure here step by step. So the first statement is going to generate an error, runtime error number nine. Okay, so the error number is nine. I'm going to comment that first statement, okay, so that we do not run it. And I'm going to run my procedure. So now only the second statement is going to be run here, which is the division by zero. And notice here that it's runtime error number 11. So the error number is 11 here, okay? So I'm just going to remind myself that this error is 9, and this one is error number 11, okay? So I put reminders here just for myself not to forget. and now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create here a go to label. So an error go to, for example, error handling, and then I'm going to create a label here called error handling. And now we're going to test for the error number that's been generated. So if error dot number is equal to nine, then message box, the worksheet called my worksheet does not exist. Please create it. So this is the error message that's going to appear if the error is tested to be the one here for selecting the worksheet that is called my worksheet while it actually does not exist. And notice here how I put the my worksheet word here between two pairs of double quotes, because this is how you're going to make uh, the word my worksheet appear between two double quotes while actually being inside a string. So being between double quotes as well. When you see that you understand it. Else if error dot number is equal to 11, then so in this case, we have the divide by zero error or division by zero error message box, you cannot divide by zero and then an end if okay, so now we're gonna run our procedure. So here we have an error go to error handling. So this is going to take us to the label called error handling. And then this first statement here, worksheet smart worksheet does. So that's going to generate an error. So we're going to jump to the error handling part here. And we're going to test for the error number. And it's going to be nine. So we're going to have this message box worksheet called my worksheet does not exist. Please create it. And notice here why I put the my worksheet between two pairs of double quotes because I wanted it to, to appear between double quotes this way. This is how you can make a word appear between double quotes when you put it in a message box or put it in, in a string, which should have two double quotes, you know, on its sides like that. And we're going to press OK. And then we're going to end the if statement and end sub. So we've tested the error because the error that's been tested or the error, the first error that's been captured here is the error for the selection of my worksheet while it does not exist, we actually executed this one. Okay, we can actually comment this part here. And if we run this statement again, an error go to error handling, and then range a1.value is equal to one divided by zero. So this way, this one is, is going to generate an error, which is the error for division by zero. And we're going to go to the error handling label here and when we run the if statement, the first one is going to be false, but the second one is going to be true because the error number is going to be 11 and we're going to have a message box appear. You cannot divide by zero and if, and then we're going to end the procedure. So the ERR object or the error object, what it does is that it 
tests for the error numbers. So this way you can generate a user friendly message, for example, that would tell the user what the error is because you're testing for its number and each error in Excel DBA, each runtime error has a unique error number. So this way you can test for errors and uh, generate user friendly message boxes or take any other actions that you would like based on that. Another useful property for the error object is the error description, so the error.description property. So what that does is that it gives you the description of the error. Okay, so I've got the same procedure here and I've just generated a different message box here for each error. And it says error and then uh, the pound sign or the hashtag sign and then concatenating that onto the error number and then another concatenation onto a colon and then you know, having a new line and then the error description. So let's uh, run that procedure. So the first part here, the first line of code here, worksheets, my worksheet does. So like this one is going to generate an error and we're going to jump, we're going to test for the error number. It's going to be nine. So we're going to have a message box appear here, error number nine, subscript out of range. And, and if, so now we're going to end our procedure and then we can actually comment that line of code here and then we can run it again and the second one is going to create an error we're going to test for it uh, for the, with the if statement we're going to have this one to be true and then we're going to have another message box here using the error description property here so i'm just using the error description to extract the description of the error and this is just the official description of the error that would appear if you encounter the error so I'm just here telling you that you can use the error description here to include in your message box and maybe you can add more description of your own or something. Okay, so the error description gives you the official description of the error. I'll be also including an Excel VBA runtime error cheat sheet in the resources section for this lesson and this cheat sheet includes all the VBA runtime errors, the codes and the messages that you should get so as to have that with you as a resource. Okay, so thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.